Often used in hydrology cases, historical probabilities can help you put current guidance in context with past observations. Its use isn't limited to hydrology. We can see this in the North American Ensemble Forecasting System return intervals, which compares forecasts to the CFSR climatology. In this example, we can see that integrated water vapor transport, IVT, across the southeastern part of California along the Colorado River is outside of the CSFR climatology from 1979 to 2009 for 20 March to 10 April, a 10-day window either side of the forecast, which is valid for 18 UTC Saturday, March 30th. This would be something to examine further in the ensemble data in DESI and in the NBM in WSUP to see what impacts there could be in the ensembles in any fields that would be impacted by above normal moisture, such as precipitation. One of the key things to remember is that you have to view this in the context of the three-week window surrounding the date versus an annual return window. Return intervals are based on the probability that a given event will be equaled or exceeded in any given year. So, a 500-year return interval means that there is a 1 in 500, or 0.2% chance of occurrence in any given year. It does not mean that the event will only occur exactly every 500 years. It could conceivably occur in consecutive years, or even in the same year. On the flip side, it's also possible that more than 500 years could pass without the event occurring. Another thing to remember is the window of time that is being used for the historical probability and return interval. For example, this image from the Storm Prediction Center shows the probability of any tornado estimated from a 30-year period of severe weather reports from 1982 to 2011. Just focusing on the time frame from the probability calculation, the key thing to realize is that any tornado outbreak along with individual tornadoes after 2011 was not included in this calculation. Therefore, the historical probability may not be correct for areas that have seen an increase in tornado activity like the southeastern United States in the April time frame. In summary, remember that historical probability refers to the likelihood of an event occurring based on historical data. It is calculated by analyzing past occurrences of the event and expressing this frequency as a probability by dividing the number of times an event has occurred by the total number of observations. For example, if a flood has occurred 10 times in the last 100 years, the historical probability of a flood in any given year is 10%. Return intervals, also known as return periods, represent the average time interval between occurrences of an event of a certain intensity or magnitude. It's often expressed in years. Return intervals are calculated using a statistical method to estimate the likelihood of an event occurring over time. For example, if a 100-year flood is expected to occur once every 100 years, the return interval is 100 years.